Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Maddie and today we are going to be talking about self-harm scars when you go on holiday. I mean it's supposedly summer right now. I'm looking out my window and it is tipping it down with rain but yesterday was bright sunshine. I don't really know what's going on. Hopefully you guys are going to be off on your summer holidays somewhere warm and this can get tricky when you are you know currently self-harming or have self-harmed in the past. Um, I feel like summer as a whole is a more difficult time because it's hotter, people wear less clothing and you, you're just more exposed. So these tips are hopefully going to be helpful for just summer in general but I wanted to focus on kind of going on holiday like especially going on like a family holiday and maybe your parents don't know that you self-harm and I feel like we instead of looking forward to the holiday, if you suffer with mental illness and if you are self-harming, you are just gonna have so many other things on your mind and it's gonna kind of take away from the enjoyment of a holiday, which is how I know I have felt in the past uh, because my parents didn't find out that I self-harmed until I was 17, I think, and I started when I was like 14. It doesn't matter whether they're new cuts or they're old scars and you've actually got through that time. If your parents don't know, or even if your parents do know, like it can still be, like your parents can know, but if you keep yourself quite hidden, like, you know, they haven't actually seen it. So for them to see it, like my mum would just like take my arm or like see my arm if I ever did wear short sleeves and just get really sad. And that made me really sad and that made me like not want to you know have it on show so I know it can be hard even if your family do know because then you're thinking about like strangers on holiday like for me for example when I went on holiday to Tenerife when I was like 18 this is my parents like knew everything my mum knew and I was trying so so hard not to self-harm because I knew that I was gonna have to be in bikinis etc but I caved on, I think I literally caved like the day before, which was so annoying for me because I was like, oh my god, like I'm gonna have to explain these cuts. I, I think on the first or second day had a guy like come up to me and he said like, oh, like what's on your arm? And I was just like, oh, it's just my cat. Um, because at that point I wasn't really comfortable with explaining to people. I mean, he didn't mean any harm by it, but obviously situations like this do happen. So I have compiled my top five tips to help you guys get through summer with self-harm scars, with self-harm cuts. My first tip that I'm gonna give you because this is just gonna make like the whole ordeal a lot easier. I mean, it could make some things hard. But if you tell them like a while before you go on holiday so they can get used to the idea, tell your parents slash tell whoever you're going on holiday with. This I understand is probably one of the hardest things to do however if you are sat there and you're constantly worrying about your parents finding out it's honestly gonna make your life a whole lot easier on holiday like you may have to worry that they're gonna be sad or upset but at least you know that they know and you don't you're not gonna be constantly watching yourself and constantly like petrified that you know they're gonna see one of your scars because I think it's probably gonna be worse if they see it and they then get angry at you whereas if you are the one in control and if you tell them if you you know you don't have to like tell them face to face you can write them a letter you can write them a text just tell them that, that you want to speak to them and then this is a situation and because you're going on holiday like you wanted them to know and you know please don't be angry at me this is something that I'm really trying to work on and you know you may have gone to the doctors to try and get help etc just yeah, I feel like you being the one to tell them is always going to be better than them finding out when you're on holiday. Number two is makeup. I mean, it's more difficult when they're literally like, you know, a day or two old. But makeup um, was really good for me when I would like go on a night out or if I was to go away on holiday. What I did was literally treat it like my face. So I would do what I would do on my face on my arm. So I would do my foundation, I would do a bit of concealer, if, it, if like redness needed touching up, maybe even a bit of green to cancel it out. And then I would put a clear translucent setting powder on it and then I put setting spray on it. And let me tell you, Urban Decay's All Nighter setting spray is the one. For keeping your makeup in place there's obviously loads of other setting sprays out there you don't need to spend money on you know specialist 
foundations. They are out there. So a few brands I've come across are Derma Blend, which seems to be like the main one. And then I came, when I was looking, what are they called? I came across a brand called Varma and Rio. Like literally just a quick Google of makeup to cover up scars or even type in makeup to cover up tattoos because then they're guaranteed to have good coverage. So they all have ranges of like foundations and setting powders, etc. Derma Blend I know has like a whole body range. Like they literally have like leg makeup. Um, all of that. So what you want to do is apply that and then always set it. Usually they are waterproof anyway and you know they won't smudge um, but also make sure you know if you're going on holiday to take a matte bronzer with you so then you can go over it and warm it up as and when you do tan. A lot of these products have SPFs in them as well so you can you can you can go out, you can sunbathe, you can go in the pool and stuff with them and they're also going to keep your scars protected because obviously sun protection is key, you know, you don't want to burn your scars. I also, when I was doing research for this video, came across a service called Skin Camouflage. Now this is just for the UK I think. I'm sure there's like similar services you know in America, Australia, wherever you're watching this from. Um, but yeah, it's called Skin Camouflage. I literally found it again by a really quick Google. I'll link their site below. But basically what it is, is it's, I mean it's for all different types of scars. But you get referred to a specialist who shows you how to apply the products. Um, and I've read a couple of people that have said they've gone to them and said that, that, you know, they've been really professional, they haven't asked where, you know, what happened with the scars, it's quite obvious. And then they will um, t recommend to your GP what they think you need, um, and then your GP will write you up a prescription and you can go and collect them. So this is great if you get free prescriptions, you can literally get, um, you know, items to cover up your scars for free. Tip number three is jewellery. I always wear a hairband on my wrist and I know a lot of the times to cover up my self harm when it was just kind of confined to my wrist kind of area I would just like stack hair bands on top of each other um, and then at one point I had loads of you know like the um, the woven bracelets so, like friends had made them for me or I had like um, done them myself or whatever had all of those like all the way up my arm obviously this is difficult if you've got it on your arm on your leg like wherever so that's when makeup is probably better but you could always do makeup and then you could just pop a few like bangles or bracelets on on top if it's like just you know a specific area also this gives you a nice little hobby to do before your holiday in like the weaving of the bracelets so tip number four is clothing now I think most people's natural instinct is to wear clothing that's literally like turtleneck, black, like long sleeves and long black trousers. But this doesn't have to be the case, like to cover up your scars. We want to go for things that are light and airy, not something that you're going to absolutely sweat in. You don't want to be wearing jumpers in the summer on holiday, trust me, I've been there and it's not fun. And then you're gonna get people asking you like, why are you wearing a jumper? And you know, there's so many cases where people just say, oh, like I'm really cold, like I just get cold really easily. But in reality, they're really sweating. So what I would recommend for covering up scars is something sheer, but like colored. So something maybe even black, but like sheer a caftan, something you can chuck on really easily and then for the evening slash in the day we want again light airy blouses like a satin material or again like a sheer material. You may want to wear like you know a flowy dress and then just pop like a little caftan or cardigan thing on top. Depop is honestly your best friend for stuff like this. Depop and eBay, you can literally pick them up for like 99p. So you don't need to go and spend a fortune on a whole new wardrobe. Obviously, we want to get you wearing a bikini. So probably the makeup aspect is going to be best for that unless you take yourself off to like <laughs> where your family is not going to be able to see you to sunbathe. I definitely find that the sun helps my scars anyway, so if you can, give your scars a little bit of sun exposure, do. And then tip number five, so we're gonna talk about the stuff that you can apply to the scars in the run up to the holidays. So obviously you've got your typical bio oil, which is everyone's favorite. Another thing that's really, really good, if they're not fresh, this is, is, um, coffee scrubs they usually have like coffee and stuff like vitamin e and like coconut oil like infused into them which are so good for your skin and honestly like if you do this a couple of times a week you will see a massive improvement in your scars like honestly the first time i used it i was like 
wow why is no one talking about this um but then you've got things like rosehip oil and vitamin e oil which are really really good for fading scars pseudocreme i would recommend if the cut is fresh to help speed up the healing process and then like i can't believe i haven't come across these before but then you know i I, I'm not a self-harmer anymore, so I haven't really had to search for this stuff. Um, silicone, what are they called? Silicone scar sheets and silicone um, scar gel. So the scar sheets basically look like plasters. So again, this is good. Like I used to wear plasters or like um, a bandage and say like I'd sprain my arm or whatever, which you might want to do, but then you get weird tan lines. Um, so the scar sheets, yeah, they literally just look like plasters and they are obviously, you know, infused with things to help the scar. Apparently they help reduce a raised scar. I've never tried them out, but they seem to get good reviews. So it could be an option. And then I found this gel, which I'll also link below. This was just me searching. I found it on Amazon and it seems to get like really, really good reviews on Amazon. Like people use it for all sorts, like C-section scars and saying that it was working wonders. And also don't beat yourself up if you do give in like just for the holiday, holidays, can be tough just because you're going on a summer holiday doesn't mean you have to be happy in fact it can actually be harder because you can like try and push yourself to be happy and be looking forward to it and then you know beat yourself up when you're not so yeah those are probably my five top tips and just remember when you are on holiday your body language says it all if you're hiding if you're not really being yourself then people like your family whoever you're with even strangers are gonna tune into that whereas if you're confident like for me i just fake confidence when i'm on holiday like to be honest i don't really think about my scars anymore i just get on with it i am confident and if people want to stare then that is their issue just ignore them it may well even be that they're staring because they don't feel as brave as you to show scars and you have just inspired them if people do ask you questions you you don't have to give them like anything like you can literally ignore them say I don't want to talk about it you can give them a sarcastic response like you fought with a bear or you used to be a tiger trainer or you can simply say to them I went for a tough time do not be ashamed of your scars because they show that you were strong enough to survive something that was really really hurting you they're a symbol of strength they're not something that we should be ashamed to show I completely get that it's really really hard which is why I've made this video for you guys but they're a part of who you are and they don't define you and you deserve to go on holiday and in enjoy your time and just you know forget about your scars so please do give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought and i will see you all in a new video on thursday and until then goodbye